Let's take a look at Katara's skill tree. Here, we can further map out her journey to becoming a water-bending master. First, we'll look at the fundamentals that she needed to teach herself as the only waterbender in the South Pole. Sokka, look! Shh, Katara, you're gonna scare it away. Mmm, I can already smell it cooking. But Sokka, I caught one! Katara's next major skill, producing high-speed water jets to save Aang from the Unagi. Water is a very basic technique, but it can come in handy when fleeing a band of pirates. Katara, you're okay! Help me get this boat back in the water so we can get out of here. We need a team of rhinos to budge this ship. A team of rhinos? Or two waterbenders? Since clouds are made of air and water, Katara and Aang work together to manipulate them into different shapes. Abu, look! Something's happening in the clouds. That's very strange. It shouldn't. Oh, my! Streaming the water allows the bender to get a general feel of the element. It's typically used as a relaxation exercise. You know this block you're having is only temporary, right? I don't want to talk about it. You do realize that's the problem, don't you? If you face this issue instead of avoiding it... I know, I know, I know, I know! I get it, all right? I need to face it head on like a rock, but I just can't do it. I don't know why I can't, but I can't. Aang, if fire and water are opposites, then what's the opposite of air? I guess it's Earth. That's why it's so hard for you to get this. You're working with your natural opposite. But you'll figure it out. I know you will. Think fast! Excellent. You have the reflexes of a water-bending master. Katara's first combative skill wasn't easy to learn. But once mastered, it can be a devastating attack. Hey, you did the water whip. I couldn't have done it without your help. Will you two quit congratulating each other and help me out? Once Katara learned the basics, she learned just how adaptable water can be. For instance, water can become so sharp it slices through plants, wood, and even metal.
component to becoming a master is creativity and quick thinking. Katara needed to use any water she can find. <sighs> Um, Katara? Are you okay? Just fine. Well, what are you doing? I'm making my own water! Katara! You're a genius! A sweaty, stinky genius! Just like an airbender, Katara could manipulate her breath and turn it into ice. When facing yet another giant sea monster, Katara was much more prepared. Creativity around waterbending was further demonstrated by Hama, a fellow bender from the Southern Tribe. You've got to keep an open mind, Katara. There's water in places you never think about. They're called fire lilies. They only bloom a few weeks a year, but they're one of my favorite things about living here. And like all plants, and all living things, they're filled with water. I met a waterbender who lived in a swamp and could control the vines by bending the water inside. You can take it even further. That was incredible! It's a shame about the lilies, though. They're just flowers. When you're a waterbender in a strange land, you do what you must to survive. Surfing is yet another skill that seems simple, but can be a game changer when mastered. to get out of here. I'll hold them off as long as I can. At this point in her journey, Katara was extremely formidable. Masters can turn water into an extension of their body. For Katara, this was quite literal. Creating an air bubble allows the bender to travel underwater for a short period of time. Katara, what are you doing? It's time to submerge. What? Right, I'm on it. Katara's ice bending was unquestionably strong, and freezing her opponent solid became her go to finishing move. You little peasant. You found a master, haven't you?
Not only can she freeze her opponent solid, she can change the temperature of the water around her with surgical precision. rare skill unique to waterbenders and using water from the spirit oasis can help even the deadliest injuries. But every element has a dark side, as seen during the full moon. Katara, and don't let them hurt each other. No! <laughs> Bloodbending might be the only skill Katara wished she hadn't learned. It took Hama decades to master bloodbending, but Katara picked it up immediately. Even she realized how scary that was. Regardless, mastering the skill solidified herself as a full-fledged waterbending master. Do you think Katara could learn how to bloodbend without a full moon? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for all things Avatar. Sorry! Ah!